Uh, YouTube welcome back to the channel so let's get right into this video let's talk about how you're your own person and what I mean by that you're your own person is that you already know that you've never been a type to completely like fit in with things right like you could easily probably camouflage yourself and like go to certain situations and you know talk to di every kind of different person right you probably don't have a hard time talking to multiple different types of people like, you don't really have a set you don't really have a set thing that's like, oh, I can only be around this type of person or like these type of people. And you might have your preference who you want to be around, right? But you never really, you never really the type of person to just like fit in with like a certain group of people because you're your own person, right? And you already know that you're your own person because it all comes down to like you might dress differently you might speak differently you might think differently you might have different ideas you might just have a whole different type of spirit to you right because you do have a whole different type of spirit to you so no matter what you're doing it doesn't matter if you're with people who play sports people who are business owners or whatever people who are whoever you're around it doesn't matter whoever you're around you could kind of camouflage yourself into being around these people and just kind of do that right you're easily able to like adapt to certain things but you never really fit in because you're, you're not you're not made to fit in right and i've said this like a hundred times in my videos but you know that you don't necessarily fit in you can't fit in you're always going to stand out with everything and this doesn't come from like a point of pride or anything you just don't fit in it's not it's not how you're supposed to be because if your purpose differently if god has given you a different type of purpose for something else that you need to be doing Whatever it is, only you, only you know the vision. But if you're like this, if you're someone who's highly gifted, who's chosen, you're never going to truly fit in and be the same as everybody. Even if people are similar to you, you're never going to be the same. It's never going to work out. You're always going to stand out because that's how you're supposed to be. You're, you're kind of your own type of person, right? And you're supposed to be a leader, pretty much. You're not supposed to be a follower. This is probably why you probably hate following, too. If you're watching this video, you're probably a person who hates to follow people or who hates to, like, copy people or who hates to do things just because it's like the popular thing to do or whatever. You've never been this type of person. You need to know that you're your own personality. You have your own personality. You have your own, you're just your own, your own person by everything that you do from, from what you dress to how you talk, you're your own type of person. You just have a completely different, you know, vibe to you, right? And this is why your life has always been kind of like, kind of like volatile. Cause like you could do certain things and you might like certain things, but you'll find it unfulfilling. You might talk to some people and you'll find it like unfulfilling or something. You might do certain things, you know, it could be financial and you could be making a lot of money and it's still not fulfilling. Or you could like do things that everyone says are really fun. And you're like, this is not really that fun. Like this is kind of unfulfilling, right? And I'm not saying that you have a void in your spirit and you're trying to like fill it with different things. But just the person that you are, you can't do anything about it. You're called, you're chosen, you're never going to fit in. You're put out of the world. You're never, you're never really going to fit in with the world, right? Because you're someone who's supposed to do something different. And before you knew this, it was kind of hard, right? Because you were probably like, what's going on? Like, what's so different about me? Like, why... Why do I feel this way all the time? Like, why am I always constantly feeling like I got to do something else? Like, I constantly feel like I'm supposed to be doing something else, but I don't know what it is. And this is why it's really important for you to pray, focus on God, to um, get alone time, realize, like, what you really want to do, realize who you actually are. Because most of the time, we're blind to ourselves, right? Because we're so used to ourselves, we're desensitized to who we are. So when people speak to you they see who you are like they don't know who you actually are but they see that you're different right so people see it quickly this is why you have experiences where like whenever people talk to you they might call you like something like you're the most unique person i've ever seen or like they'll be like something's different about you or, or like they'll have like a different type of reaction to you and you might kind of know this but you're so desensitized to it, you might be like, what are they talking about? Like, I don't understand what they're talking about because you don't necessarily know it, right? This is why your life has been so weird because you've probably had people react to you in really weird ways, especially strangers. Like, they'll talk to you and they'll, like, they'll say a bunch of things about you, 
whether positive or negative, mostly positive, if, if like they're good people, they'll say like a whole bunch of things about you and you'll be like, where are they getting this from? Like, why do they look at me as like, I'm someone so different, right? It's because you are, you're truly different. This is just how you are. This is how you've been created. You're not created to fit in necessarily. You're created to be your own person. You're your own personality. You're, everything about you is just different. It's just different. This is this is just how you are. You're literally built different, right? I'm not saying that in the joking way, but yeah, you're built different. So this is why you might find yourself being alone a lot. And you, you probably don't have a problem being alone. And there's nothing wrong with being alone. Being alone is really comforting. It's really quiet. It's uh, relaxing and everything. But the reason you're alone isn't just because you're this different person, right? The reason you're alone is because you need to connect with yourself. You need to actually connect with yourself and realize that like you do have skills, you're highly gifted. You have a lot of knowledge to you, you have a lot of skills to you, you have a lot of things that you know. Your ability to learn is probably really, really, really fast. And your your eyes just kind of see everything. Like you're way too aware about the world, right? And because you're aware about the world, this is where a lot of your sorrow comes from. Because the Bible does say the more knowledge you have, the more sorrow that you get. Because you start to see the truth about the world. You start to see the evil. You start to see manip manipulations. You start to see corruption. You, you just start to see the truth about everything, right? And because of that intelligence, you're going to have the negative, which is going to be the sorrow. You're going to be, you know, you might suffer from like depression. You might get like anxiety because your mind is never stopping this is how your mind is your mind is something that never stops you can't really contain your mind it just learns things really fast your mind just absorbs everything and everything and this this is how your life is but it's a gift don't ever don't ever tell yourself that it's not a gift it feels like a curse too because every gift feels like a curse as well it feels like a blessing and a curse that's what they say it's like it's like this is a blessing and a curse the blessing is that you are intelligence intelligent and that you see things like things for what they are, you could learn things really quick. You could um, think outside the box. You could get many ideas. That's the blessing. But then the curse always comes. You know, the sorrow, anxiety, the overthinking, the like that. So everything's gonna feel like a blessing and a curse. If you ha if you have a gift, it's gonna feel like a blessing and a curse. But at the end of the day, though, it's still a gift and it's still a blessing, right? And The reason you're kind of, the reason you're always going through life and you're always seeking to probably like fulfill like whatever this feeling is, right? I know you guys can resonate to this video, but you might, you might seek to like, just like fill it and you might not even know what the void is, right? So you have a void for a reason. The void comes because not only do you need God, which is the one that made you, which is the one that gave you all these gifts. But you also need God, not just because of that. You need God to actually take you to your purpose. Because your purpose isn't necessarily easy. It's something that like goes on slowly. You start to realize what you're good at. And you're like, okay, I'm good at this. And you start to realize who you really are. You'll be like, okay, this is who I really am. But then you'll be like, what do I do now? And this is why you might end up alone a lot. Because you're always constantly questioning things. Because this is just how you're supposed to be. You're not someone that could kind of just live a normal life because you're not created to be normal. You need to get that out of your head. If you have that in your head, you need to get it out of your head. Your life isn't going to be the same as everyone else's. It's going to be different. It's going to be more volatile too. And at the end of the day, though, you know that you're, you know that you're protected. You have God on your side. So no matter what goes on in your life, the trials, tribulations, you're always going to beat them. You're, you're always going to beat them. You know that this is true. You're always going to end up beating it. Whatever, whatever the situation is or the situations are, if you're getting attacked or not, you know that you're going to beat it. You know it's not going to last. And you know it's going to make you stronger. It's going to make you smarter. Because all your suffering, as annoying as it could be with like suffering and tribulations and trials, you know, nonstop things, as annoying as they could be, you always make it out of, you always make it out of these trials and also, this is how you know if you're chosen. You make it out of these trials, but you never grow bitter either. You might have times of like frustration, but you always keep the, the kindness. You always keep the grace and you end up just being better each time. You end up getting better each time. So 
take all your trials and tribulations as blessings because they seem terrible at first but whenever you do get past the trial you start to realize what it actually taught you and you come out even better you come out even stronger you come out even smarter you just come out as a better person overall and that's the whole point to these trials whatever the trials are they come they come in as like lessons like god teaches you lessons god god shows you like what you were doing wrong or like what you're supposed to be doing and everything and that's kind of that's kind of how not how this is kind of why you go through so many trials because since you are chosen since your life is in the hand of god it's not necessarily in your hand you still have free will but your life is still purpose do you have a, you have a purpose to your life so it's not always in your hand either and this is why you go through like a lot of things that you don't even want to go through You're like why am i even going through like these things it's like how did this even happen or like why is it so much why is there so many things right just keep your eyes on god you have to keep your eyes on god because it's something that's it's only you alone most of the time it's only you alone to do it but you're never really truly alone you're alone but you're with god right and this is what makes you so this is what makes you so knowledgeable because you don't you don't necessarily have a choice to it and i don't say this in a bad way this is just how you're created so you don't have a choice to be you know aware of everything this is just how you are your brain is just aware of everything your spirit's aware of everything so you don't have a choice this is what you're supposed to be doing and because you see everything, you're, obviously you're going to see the good and the bad. You're going to go through trials and you're going to go through blessings. It seems like a burden at first. It really seems like a burden. I've seen some videos too saying being chosen is a burden. And yes, it is a burden because there's a lot of suffering. There's a lot of trials. There's a lot of tri you know, tribulations. But at the end of the day, though, you always come out better. And you never look like what you suffered. Like, you could have suffered through, like, terrible things. And, like, it could be whatever whatever it is that you're suffering through. But, like, once you get past that suffering, you don't even look like it ever happened to you. This is why you might have people talking to you and they'll be like, oh, you look like you've never stressed out a day in your life. And you'll be like, yeah. You'll be like, yeah, I've never stressed out a day in my life. But, no, you've probably gone through so many, so many trials, so many bad things, so many just wicked things it could have started since you were young more than likely it started since you were really young you've been since childhood right and this is this is just how your life is going to be because you have a light on you so because of the light you're you're going to get a lot of attention and not every attention is good either so you'll get good attention you'll get negative attention and there's nothing there's nothing you could do by this is just how you are it's all a spiritual thing people see it through the spirit People, people don't look at you as a material... They don't look at you on a material way, right? Like, materially, you could look really good. Or you could look a certain way. Or you could dress a certain way. Or you could have a certain amount of money or whatever. Whatever materially. But it's always deeper than materially. It's always a spiritual thing. People, rea people react strongly to you because of your spirit. Because they could already feel it. This is why a lot of times, like, you might have people just, like, say something out of their mouth and they don't even know why they said it. They'll be like, wait, why did I even say that, right? It just it just comes out of them. It's just what your presence does, right? Your presence kind of makes people say certain things, makes people, just makes people say it to you, right? Because your presence is really bright. Some people might say your presence is intimidating, but your presence is also really inviting, too, because you have a bright, inviting presence. And because it's like that, this is why you're able to attract so many people, whether you're a man or a woman, you're able to attract a lot of people. You've probably never really been someone that's ever asked for attention or anything. It just comes to you. And like I said, it's not a thing to brag about. It's just what happens. It's, it's pretty much outside of your control. It's just your spirit. Your spirit's really bright because it comes from God. And this is this is why you've always had weird situations with people and everything and your life, your life is kind of just different, right? You might not know like why it's different. You could just be like, it's just different. Like I don't know what it is. It's just different. Like people don't treat me the exact same. It's always polar, right? Like you're a really polar person. Like people might love you or people might hate you. It's always a lot of polarity with you, right? But all right, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
Um, of course, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Always turn on those bells so you know you see a video so you don't miss out a video. Um, don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like as well. All right, God bless you guys.